This bird has been covered in oil from an oil spill. The oil won't dissolve in water and it stops the bird from flying. The oil needs to be removed from the feathers to save the bird's life. Oils do not dissolve in water, but form a separate layer floating on top. Liquids that do not mix completely with each other are called immiscible. When you shake up immiscible liquids, they seem to mix but soon separate out again. Immiscible liquids can be separated using a separating funnel. When you open the tap, the lower liquid runs out of the funnel and can be collected in a beaker. You then close the tap before the other liquid starts to run out. Put another beaker under the funnel and then open the tap to allow the upper liquid to be collected. If two liquids dissolve in each other, their particles mix completely to make a solution. Liquids like this are called miscible. They do not separate out once mixed together and can only be separated by fractional distillation. Fractional distillation can be used to separate mixtures of miscible liquids because they have different boiling points. The mixture of liquids is heated and the liquids evaporate. The vapours condense in a fractionating column. The fraction with the highest boiling point condenses near the bottom of the column and the fraction with the lowest boiling point reaches the top of the column. This process is used to separate the gases in air. However, first the air has to be turned into a mixture of liquids. This is done by cooling the air so that the water can freeze and be removed. Then the remaining air is cooled to minus 200 degrees C where it is liquefied. In the fractionating column, liquid air is warmed up to minus 185 degrees centigrade. This causes all the nitrogen to evaporate and rise up the column. Most of the oxygen stays as a liquid and is piped out of the bottom of the column. The oxygen that does evaporate condenses again at the top of the column and runs back down to the bottom.